Hello, this is Ahmad Tarek. Today, in this video, we will gonna explain how to read the electrical schematic on the Caterpillar product, especially in on the loader of the 972M Caterpillar. Today, in this video, we will start with explaining the circuit of the starting motor and how the loader will be started by the operator in the cabin okay uh, in order to see more videos like this you need to subscribe in that channel and also place a like and share to that video also if you need any inquiries you can easily contact us through the comments or through the whatsapp this is the electric schematic of the loader 900, uh, 972M and this is the guide on the left where we could find the start of the electrical circuit or the starting circuit of the Caterpillar product. Easily we can press on the left side here in order to get the component in the cab in order to find the switch contact or contact switch switch by clicking here so we can search for the switch contact switch key here okay by pressing on this hyperlink we can see this switch key okay and we can press this hand tool by the way in the pdf of the caterpillars by easily pressing on this key switch it will navigate us to the location on the equipment itself for example if we press here we will find the place of the key switch in the cab in order to be aware where the key start switch of that cabin now we want to return back to the electrical sch schematic in order to trace the signal that is, is responsible for the starting of the machine this is the key switch contains of three contacts okay the red line here indicates for the battery power 24 volts so whenever we see whenever we see a red wire here in this schematic it indicates that it is coming from the positive battery directly okay and in order to understand the code of each wire here on all caterpillar systems 105 is the number wire or the wire of the number which is unique for every and single wire in that equipment so that we cannot find another 105 again c351 it is the arrangement number of this wire in the harness which means that this number is this wire is the number 351 in this har harness which is indicating letter C red is the color of the wire on the equipment which does not mean that if you can see it here red it must be red on the equipment so what is the pretty sure here that if we find it red here then it will be red on the equipment itself but these colors does not indicate the colors on the equipment be careful 16 is the size of the wire 16 it is american wire gauge and it is opposite to the millimeters so whenever this number increase the thickness of the wire decreases opposite to the millimeters so when if we find for example a wire which is for american wire gauge it indicates that it is very thick wire for example 35 millimeters for example okay if we will start to trace this signal so in this switch that's clear that we have three positions the first position is the off one it's the off the position okay the second position is for the contact which is the blue one 308 this one we make one step only to the one step to the key switch in order to just energize the electrical circuits present in the 
cabin and also the ECMs. Okay, but if in order to start, we will need to, you know, uh, throw the 24 voltage here to the wire which indicates 307. Okay, so by, you know, uh, pressing the key switch one more step to the right and holding your hand, the power or the 24 volts will go or fly but so this contact will come here okay i'm so sorry will come yes will come here okay and the power flow to that 307 let's let us start flowing up through this 307 where will it go okay so we can easily press control find here up in the pdf and start searching for 307 to see the next step that it will hit in that equipment so we can start navigating 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 okay so as we have seen here the next step is engaging with the ecm okay so let's see here the input neut neutral start input which means which means okay which means that the uh, switch key is communicating with the ECM or the ECU in order to take the permission to output or to energize the starting motor. So whenever we send here a signal 24 volts, we the ECM understands that we need to make to energize the starting motor. So the ECM starts to you know th this is the transmission ECM so it starts to monitor all the inputs coming from the transmission inputs and the transmission joystick to make sure that the joystick is in the neutral position if it is rest assured that the the the, the transmission the transmission the 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 transmission um, joystick is in the neutral position then automatically the the ecm will generate a signal here 24 voltage on the signal number seven st of the start relay okay so also for your knowledge in order to identify whether uh, the ecm uh, where it is located also we can press on that okay uh, hyperlink in order to indicate the location of the ECM this okay uh, this uh, this ECM is present in the behind back of the of the uh, we can remove this fiber with these bolts and we can find the transmission ECM okay also the transmission e ECM got to uh, to uh, uh two connectors each one of the 70 pins okay in order to recognize which is which or which one is containing our wires okay we can easily uh you know check the color so as we know here uh this is number uh, this is orange so we can check which one of them the pin number one is orange so he here the pin number one is purple however the the, here is pin number one is orange also uh this is um this is the, the harness that contain many red wires which is the power harness or the power connector usually usually it's not a it's not a kind of a rule but it's usually on the right okay however so by by sense and also by experience this must be the left uh, the left connector however the colors is the most secured on the most confirmed uh, way in order to distinguish between the left and the right connector however in order to check also for this uh, we in order to check the 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 numbering of this uh, connector okay we can make it in another video because of the timing okay so right now our um, our next step we need to tra to trace this signal 306 in order to see where it will be going okay so three is uh, by searching with 306 in the search bar we can start finding the next position 
take care uh, C306 is different than 306 okay so we are searching only for 306 okay so here as you as we have expected that this 306 is going to initialize the start relay and eventually we can predict or we can know that the other signal here or the other wire here is a negative ground okay as also you can see it in the upper uh, arc suppressor that that g815 is also a uh, common between the suppressor and the relay so we can predict that this is the negative ground okay so this is totally also in order to know its place we can press on its hyperlink we can uh, identify its place by zooming in here okay uh, you know it's you know this plate uh, after the uh, when you uh, step on that ladder you can remove this plate you can find all the relays and the circuit breaker here so this is the uh, circuit breaker is mounted with two bolts and there is two you know uh, two wire cables plus an a connector that containing the our wire 306 okay by returning back to the schematic okay we can start following up so when 306 is energized with 24 volts so this relay will be energized so this plate will gonna close this red uh, red power line from the breaker with the, that another orange line okay so in order to know the function of the relay the relay is used is to uh, protect another circuit with high current from or protect the ECM from the high current of the other circuit because this signal is coming from the ECM which cut, which does not support high currents so by doing this relay so the only the ECM sees the, the small current of the coil that to be magnetized however the high current coming from the 50 ampere circuit breaker in order to energize the starting motor passes totally in this starter relay without you know interacting at all with the ECM okay so when we this is energized this plate closes and now we've got a direct contact between this high voltage sorry a uh, high ampere 24 voltage wire to this yellow line which uh, sorry orange line uh, which is orange in the schematic but white on the on the equipment 304 which is gonna to energize the starter breaker or the starter motor actually also the starter motor got another stage before the starting motor which is the starting solenoid okay once we a 24 voltage here is received and it's got a direct negative or a direct ground from the battery which is black which is uh, direct ground so this coil here of the solenoid is energized okay so this coil has two function the first function is to push the pinion solenoid or the pinion fork in order to engage with the flywheel and the other other for uh, other uh, function is an electrical wise which gonna when this coil is energized also the same principle of the relay okay so a magnetic field here will gonna you know uh you will we're gonna generate it making this plate closest to the other point making this high current or thick power cable coming from the battery enter directly to the starter motor and the starting motor start to rotate with the flywheel rotating the equipment this is the whole operation starting from the very start of the start contact or the contact key until reaching the starter motor if you got any inquiries or any other uh, questions regarding the electricity in the cat models uh, heavy equipment please feel free to contact me on the comments and also on the whatsapp thank you so much for your time have a nice day bye bye